well, Junior, let's start first. Just get the health update, man. How's the recovery going? Where are you at? You know, in your recovery, how are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm feeling very well. <laughs> Thank God I can say that because, actually, you know, I, I, I was I was feeling well, but with this this injuries and all these problems. But right now, everything is going good, and uh, the doctor just allowed me to go back training. You know, so it's it's a it's a good part. Awesome. Shoulder feeling better than ever. <laughs> that's, awesome. that's awesome. Yeah, such a great performance earlier this year. I mean, you looked fantastic. Um, was it frustrating at all that, that you had to stop? Because I would think you'd want to build on that momentum as great as you looked. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, that was that was hard for me, you know, because I was planning to have three fights this year, and after after that fight, I was, you know, uh, when I, I I got the injury, and then I, they said the doctor said we have to do a surgery. I said, my gosh, again? Because if you remember in my last fight, I was saying. The same thing, like I'm two years without you know, suffering with these injuries and all these things, and now everything is gonna work out well. And then <laughs> I got another surgery, another, you know, injury. It's it's pretty hard, but uh, I think it's part of the game. They say, right? So let's let's move on. Well, you're still smiling about it, right? Yeah. You're still laughing. So you've been able to, I mean, mentally, you've been able to to stay focused and and, and feel good about your training. Yeah, I'm always, you know, sometimes I, I feel a little bit uh, sad, you know, down. But uh, uh, when things start to, to work well again, you know, <laughs> I'm happy again. So uh, uh, it's part of myself. And uh, yeah, that, like I said, you know, I, I know that it's a lot of things, good things to come. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to it. You kept yourself busy in the meantime, right? Though you did some commentating over over the summer. What what was uh, that experience like for you? Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, I was commentating uh, the 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 boxing match there in, at the Olympics, and it was amazing. You know, it was really good. And we got uh, the first gold medal. First, we <laughs> the first gold medal, right? Yeah. So I, I brought lucky to them. <laughs> <laughs> and what, the guy who who won uh, the the gold medal, uh, Robson Conceição. He's from our gym, from uh, uh, coach, uh, my coach Doria yeah. gym. So, you know, <laughs> home. <laughs> I was going to say, how cool was that? I wanted to ask you, because I know that was a big moment for the country, but to, yeah. to you to have that personal tie, like, was it inspiring? I mean, what, what was the feeling like to see yeah, that? Yeah, it was amazing, man. That guy is, is, a, is a, he's so nice and he deserved that a lot, you know. He works hard every, every time. Sometimes you, you're, you're in the gym, you know, talking to each other and playing, you know, around. And he's, he's, not, he's not that kind of guy, you know, just after the training. When he got to the gym, he got prepared for the training and then he trained very, very hard. And then he stopped a little bit to talk with the guys and, you know, all, all these things. So that was very well deserved. You're, you're always known for your great boxing skills. Do you two guys, do you guys ever spar? And, and no, 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 come on. He's, <laughs> he's, a, he's a small guy, you know. <laughs> 60 kilos, uh, yeah, very small. That no. might be a little unfair. Yeah, yeah unfair <laughs> for me because he's too fast. <laughs> I, can't, I couldn't fight him, you know. He's too fast. That's awesome. Well, what, what is the future holding for you? you you're, you're free to train now. Your uh, what's the target date? What are you thinking in your head? When, when are we gonna get to see you again? Yeah, I'm training uh, already. You know, doing some movements. I can do uh, sparring or things like this right now. You know, because it's just the beginning <laughs> of my, uh, you know, just the beginning. So, uh, but everything is going good, and I hope. Actually, what I want is to fight in December, at the end of November or December or the beginning of December. I think it's gonna be a good time to come back, you know, and fight again because I, I also needed that, you know. <laughs> that's the only thing we we do in life, and that's the thing I love to do. So when I am not fighting, I'm not. I don't have a fight coming up. I feel like very frustrated, you know, very bad. Uh, things don't don't look the same for me, you know. So I have to be involved in a fight. I have to be training. I have to be. Uh, thinking about my opponents, you know, and I have to know that I will collide with that guy against someone at some point there in, in, in the future, you know. So uh, I'm looking forward to have my next fight. And this moment that I'm living now, like you told, like you, told, you, you just said, uh, 
my last fight brought me some good things. Uh, you know, my last fight against Ben Rotho. And because I was, you know, listening too much for, for the, the opinions of the people, you know. Because I, I agree with that. I have to improve my jiu-jitsu. I have to improve my wrestling. I have to become a better fighter. But I can't. I can't forget about my boxing, you know. My boxing made me ch champion of the world, and uh, I, I'm so confident in that area, you know, and moving and using my speed, using my boxing skills. So I, I really believe that I, I, I understand all these things better, and I will become stronger for it. Well, you look at a guy like Damian Maya. I mean, you know, he... He did good learning everything, but then when he yeah. finally just went back to what made him great, that's when yeah, it was yeah. like that's the, the best success. That, you're completely right. <laughs> <laughs> like Damian Maya, as like some time ago, uh, like long time ago actually, he came to uh, to Bahia Salvador, Bahia, where uh, I used to live there in Brazil. You know, to train with us at the gym, you know, and learn boxing and all these things. And you saw he he was trying to to box with the guys to throw some hard punches. On the guys, but that wasn't working very well because it's not him. He's a jiu-jitsu guy. That's that what he is, you know. So when once he he accept that and start to using his jiu-jitsu on, on on his fights, man, he's unbelievable. Yep. Everybody was saying, "Hey, <clears throat> this guy who just fought." Uh, uh, um, he just fought against. Uh, uh, I guess uh, Carlos Condit. Uh, Carlos Condit. And everybody was saying, like, man, that's going to be tough. Carlos Condit is so good. He's going to beat uh, Damian Maia. And I, I was looking, man, if Damian do the same thing he, he always he, he's doing right now, you know, uh, try to, to, to take the guy down and using his jiu-jitsu, no chances for Carlos Condit, yep. too. And then he went there and did like was very fast, you know, faster than my, Matt, Matt Brown and yeah. all these guys. So that was amazing. I, I, I can compare myself a little bit with him. You're the with, boxing guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, but I'm in the, in the stand-up side. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's on the ground and I'm here. That's awesome. <laughs> so what are you thinking right now? I mean, I'm sure you want to get back in and against a top-level opponent. I mean, two guys that you fought are fighting <clears throat> for the title this weekend. I mean, are you thinking championship-level fights or is it more about just kind of getting back in and building a, a rhythm and making sure you're healthy? What, what, what do you see? When you get back in there, what kind of opponent do you want to see? Yeah, I wanna, I wanna face. Actually, I don't like. I always said I don't pick opponents, and uh, like you know, I already fought all these guys, and I wanna fight them, all of them again if I need to. But uh, what I want, what I really want, is that belt. You know, of course, everybody's here for that belt. You know, all the, the athletes they want to 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 be the, to have the chance to have that belt once. And um, um, but I really believe I can be the champion again, you know. And uh, if I start, if I keep thinking like I'm thinking right now, you know, that I I can use my speed, I can use my boxing skills, and also have my jiu-jitsu and my wrestling as a additional thing, it's it's gonna work very well, you know. Right, actually, the champion right now, Stephen Miocic, is doing very well, and I I really believe I am the guy to take that belt from him. Nobody will take that belt from him, because all these guys. I, I, of course, it's heavyweight division, but uh, man, he's doing so well and he's so athletic and he's, he hits very hard. And ho also, he has a uh, great wrestling skills. So it's a it's a good champion and uh, champion. And also, he's a a nice guy. That's yeah. the better thing, you know. When you see a bunch of, you know, these guys, they start to. To say so many things, you know, and um, they, uh, they are not good, good examples, you know. We don't need that kind of people anymore, you know. We see people like this. I know people like to see, you know, those guys who, who talk a lot, who promote the fight. But we don't need that kind of energy, you know. And I, I, I'm glad that uh, Steven Miocic is the champion right now. And I think he will keep being until I get there. <laughs>